red pill. So let me add, let, let me a answer this question for you. I say, yeah, yeah, you can cheat on your girl. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because I've been in this situation before, man. It's been times where I was faithful to a girl and I found out later on she cheated on me or later on she dumped me for another nigga. And I was like, you know what? Damn. All those times I could have got my dick sucked by another bitch. All those times I could have got some pussy from, from, from another bitch and I curved that bitch for my girl. Only for her to curve me later down the line for another nigga. It's like, damn, son. So I say, yeah, cheat on your girl only because me... Me and you being red pill, we know most relationships ain't going to last forever. Most relationships don't last that long. So why not cheat? Why not get your dick sucked by another girl? And as far as you uh, cutting off all your female friends for your girlfriend, I say, hell no, don't do that shit. Do what females do with their male friends. They put them niggas in a friend zone. That's what bitches do. See, when bitches get in a relationship with a nigga, they don't just cut off all they male friends. They just don't cut off all the niggas they was talking to. They friend zone the nigga. The bitch be like, look, I got a man right now. Please respect it, but we can still be cool. We can still be friends. That's the same thing you do with the bitch. You don't cut off all your friends. All your female friends. I know once some of you niggas, y'all niggas get a girlfriend. You start getting some pussy from one bitch. And the next thing you know, you just unfriend all your female friends on your Facebook. You stop following all the bitches you used to follow. You stop doing mad shit just for that bitch. So this is what you do. You don't cut off your female friends. What you do is, you put them bitches in the friend zone. You be like Sarah. Or whatever her name is. Like, look, I got a girl right now, but we can still be cool peoples. And then keep them on the side. Let let them see you and your girl post up together. Let them see all your, your Facebook selfies you take with your girl. Let them see all that shit. And then in the event, when you and your girl break up, you still got your female friends. I know it's a cold world. I know what I'm saying to you, brother, sound, it sounds wrong. It sounds wrong to cheat on your girl. I get it. I get it. It sounds wrong. You know what I'm saying? I say the best relationship is the relationship where you don't even want to cheat on your girl. That's the last relationship. That's the type of relationship I was in. It was to the point where I had so much of a chemistry with my bitch. I ain't want to cheat on a bitch. It was so many times other bitches gave me, try to throw me some pussy, suck me off. I couldn't do it. Not because I didn't, like, not because I couldn't and get away with it because I didn't want to. The urge wasn't there. The urge wasn't there for me to still get my dick sucked by this bitch, even though I had my girl right there. You feel me? That's the type of relationship I had with my bitch. So if y'all in a relationship with a bitch, you want to be in a type of relationship where you don't even got the urge to cheat. You ain't got the urge. That type of relationship I was in, I ain't even had the urge to cheat. You know what I mean? It wasn't it like other pussy ain't even mean nothing because I was so addicted to my bitch pussy. I was so into my bitch blowjobs. I was just so into my bitch, period. You know what I mean? I ain't, never, I ain't meet another bitch who was on my bitch level. So that's why I didn't cheat on my last bitch. It's not because I couldn't. It's just because the urge wasn't dead because I ain't see no other bitch matching my my bitch slut moves you know what i mean like like the, the way the type of slut my bitch was i couldn't see no other bitch matching that shit you feel me like 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 if you couldn't out slut my girl i didn't want to fuck with you you know what i'm saying but in the event where i met another girl who was just as cute as my girl if not cuter and she was a slut just like my bitch. Oh, hell yeah, I cheat on the bitch. Hell yeah, I get my dick sucked. But what I'm telling you niggas right now, do not sacrifice pussy for the pussy you with right now. Don't do that. So what I'm telling you niggas right now, if it's a girl right now 
that you want to smash and she giving you she giving you choosing signals she flirting with you and you still got a girl but you saying you 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 questioning to yourself whether you should fuck this bitch or not i say yeah go fuck the bitch if the opportunity is there and you want to fuck the bitch, I say go fuck the bitch. Because I'm telling you niggas, if you niggas got the urge to cheat, but you still don't cheat because you want to be faithful and loyal to your girlfriend, when your girl cheat on you, when your girl dump you for another nigga, you want to think about all the times you could have cheated. You want to think about all them other times the other cute bitch was throwing you some pussy. You want to think of all that shit. You're going to be like, damn, I wish I would have did that. I wish I would have cheated. So basically, the solution to this is, even when you niggas in a relationship, still holler at bitches. Still make female friends, like still meet new female friends. You got to do that. This is a doggy dog world. The girl you with right now, she not going to be yours forever, son. That bitch is not going to be your girl forever. She not. She got an expiration date. That's like a nigga saying, look, look, look. I know you got a car right now. I know you driving a nice car right now. But do you want do you, do you want this car? Do you want to just keep this car parked in your garage? Just in case something happened to your main car. You want to be like, yeah. Just in case. In any relationship you in, you're going to need some type of insurance. And this is, and a lot of you niggas, you niggas don't got no insurance. You niggas out here in relationships without no motherfucking insurance. See, 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 bitches are smart. Bitches ain't dumb. A bitch keep insurance. Bitches got insurance when they out here in a relationship with another. Well, when, when a bitch is in a relationship with, with a dude. She has insurance, meaning she has backup. So what I'm trying to understand, so what I'm trying to explain to you, Nick, even when your girl is in a relationship with you, she's still posting up, uh, she's still posting pictures on Instagram. She still got admirers. She still got niggas in her comments saying, "Oh, you sexy. Oh, you sexy." She ain't cutting them niggas off. She ain't blocking none of them niggas. All them niggas in her Facebook, all them niggas on her Facebook posts. That, that, that know, that she know them niggas got a crush on them. She, um, she ain't blocking them niggas. She ain't blocking them niggas for you. Here, here come your jealous ass. Yo, why you ain't block that nigga? Why you still letting that nigga comment on your picture? What she said? Stop being jealous. He just a friend. He just a friend. Why you being so mad for? I'm not fucking him. He just a friend. He just a friend. She has insurance. So this is why I tell you niggas, even though, even though you are in a relationship, still go work out. Still keep yourself up. Still, still make sure you got a haircut. Make sure you, you, you staying fresh. Because what happens with you niggas is that you niggas get one girl you fall in love with, you niggas get comfortable. You stop working out. You 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 stop trying to look impressive because you got your girl. You you ain't you ain't got no insurance. You feel me? And this is why when that bitch dump your ass for another nigga that look better than you, hit hear me out. Remember what I said for another nigga that look better than you. For another nigga that's been better shaped than you. For another nigga that got a better car than you. A better job than you. More money than you. You gonna be so fucking mad. Because one thing about bitches. They don't date down. They date up. They date up. That's what bitches do. They don't date down. Bitches date up. So let one of these little fly niggas pull up on your bitch nigga. One day, you and your girlfriend having a little argument. Now, y'all ain't talking. Because, because, this is how breakups work. This is how breakups work, y'all. You and her have an argument, and y'all don't talk for like a day or two. Y'all don't talk. And that one day, all it takes is that one day, y'all ain't talking. And some fly-ass nigga come through. Come through just driving. 
You know what I mean? Driving a nice, nice ass car. What's good, ma? What's poppin', ma? What's good, ma? How you, ma? Let me get out the car real quick. What's good, ma? What's your name, ma? Oh, uh, you looking good over here. You got a man? She be like, um, I something like that, you know, something like that, you know, but, but you can take my number. Boom, just like that. Now, hear me out. She gave this nigga her number. She gave this nigga her number. She told the nigga, I got a man, but we going through something right now. You feel me? So she gave this nigga her number. Now, let's see the next day you and her back talking again. Everything peaches and cream, right? That nigga still texting her. That nigga still talking to her. She's still talking to other niggas. She might not be fucking a nigga, but she talking to another nigga. And guess what? The next time, and I say the next time, because you know y'all niggas gonna argue again. The next time, when y'all get into an argument, and she don't feel like talking to your ass, guess who she guess who she gonna be texting? That nigga that just pulled up on a couple weeks ago, nigga. And this is when bitches and this is when bitches let you have it. This is when bitches let you have it. She be like, you know what? I'm getting sick and tired of your shit. I ain't trying to fuck with your ass no more. It's a rap. Fuck you. Do whatever you want to do. Do you click? She hang up on you and calls the other nigga. See, see, I know, I know I get on bitches a lot on my YouTube channel. I know I be roasting these bitches. I know I always be pointing out how foul bitches is. But let me tell you something. Despite the bad things about females, females are very strategic. Females are very strategic. A bitch is not going to dump you to be alone. Once she dumps you, she already has your replacement lined up. Hear me out. This is what I said. Listen to me. Listen to what I just said. When a female dumps you, she already has her replacement lined up. Not only that, when she makes an announcement that she's single, when she changed her status on Facebook or Instagram or, or Snapchat, when she makes an announcement that she's single, she'll already have other beta males lined up. Waiting to take your place. Oh, word, you single. What you doing this weekend? Let's chill. Let's hang out. Bitches are savages. Bitches are savages. This is why I tell you. If you fucking with a bitch and another bitch comes along that look good, got a fat ass, could suck dick better than her, got better pussy than her, cheat on that bitch. Go ahead and cheat. She would do the same thing. Your girl would do the same thing. I don't give a fuck what a bitch said. I don't give a fuck what a bitch said. Let, let LeBron James pull up on your bitch right now. Let LeBron James pull up on your bitch, your girlfriend right now. You telling me you don't think LeBron James can't bag your bitch? You telling me you don't think Chris Brown could bag your bitch? What you think she gonna tell Chris Brown and LeBron James? I'm sorry, LeBron James. Keep it moving. I got a man at home, and he good to me. I'm sorry, Chris Brown. Don't invite me over to your mansion. I'm good. I got a man. You think she gonna tell Drake? You think she gonna curve Drake? Do you think your girlfriend is gonna curve Drake, nigga? I guarantee you, Drake could bag my bitch, Drake could bag your bitch, Drake could bag just about any bitch you pull up on. This is why I'm telling you niggas, cheat on your bitch. Cheat on your bitch. Because if the opportunity arrives for her, she gonna do the same thing. I know it sounds foul, I know it sounds foul, but this is the world we live in. This is the world we live in. So in closing... Sorry, I got to give y'all some savage advice. But I give you niggas advice to protect your heart. I don't want you doing making the same mistakes I made. I don't want you making the same mistakes I made. I don't want you being in a relationship thinking it's going to last forever. 
being safe for the one girl, thinking this girl about to be your wife. Because in the mix of all this, and she and then she finally dumps you and break up with you, and you been a good man in that relationship, you done right by her, and that girl still cheats on you, or that girl still dumps you to fuck other men, you gonna be so hurt. You gonna be so fucked up inside. You gonna be so hurt. You gonna cry for days. You're gonna be devastated. This is why I'm telling you, at least when you fucking other bitches while you with that bitch and she dumps you, it won't hurt as bad. You'll still got your other bitches that you fucking with. It won't hurt as bad. It might still hurt, but it won't hurt as bad. You know why? Because you still been doing you. So the moral of the story, even if you are in a relationship, still do you. That was today's episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to catch you on the next go round, my nigga. Hello.